Welcome everybody to Sunny SoCal. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to prep a bed and get it ready for your new plantings. I like to call it out with the old, in with the new. It's super easy. It takes a few minutes is all. First thing you want to do is get your bucket for your old plants because those better go in the compost bin. Next thing you want to do, spread a little compost if it's the time of year to refeed your soil. For me, I need to refeed this bed because I haven't done it in a year. Third thing you want to do is wet down the soil because it's easy to dig the holes when the soil's wet. Next thing you want to do is pop in your new seedlings. As always, if you don't have your new seedlings ready to go in the ground before you need them, you're losing time. It's easy to save a month and a half off your grow times by having seedlings the right size ready to go in the ground. So come with me and let's see how I do it. You want to twist the plant from the base and try to leave as much as you can of the root ball and not disturb the soil. Now that I've taken the old plants out, I'm going to dump them in the compost bin and I'm going to go get some compost. You didn't think I was going to leave you behind, did you? Now I'm at my compost bin. Now I'm going to fill up my bucket with compost and I'm going to spread it on top of my bed and put in the seedlings. If you live in a really wet climate and you get a lot of rain, you're going to want to put a roof over your compost bin to keep it dry. If it gets too saturated, all the microbes and bacteria and life will die. The same thing goes true for too hot. Here in Southern California, it never rains, so I gotta water my beds every day when I water my plants. Keeps them moist, allows the worms and the bacteria and all the fungi to grow. If it dries out, they die as well. So I gotta keep mine covered to keep moisture in. These are the small bins I originally started with. Now I'm up to a big bin, a four by eight. Makes a lot more compost, so I'm just using what I had from the old days. This one's getting low. I'm down to the first level. Now it's time to go spread it on the bed. I've got about a half a five gallon bucket full. That should be plenty for the entire bed. I'm gonna do the whole bed. That way I only have to do it once. Today I'm gonna to go put some red curry squash in so I can get ready for the winter food supply. We'll be picking those this fall.
The one thing that's important to do here in Southern California where it's hot is to pre-charge the holes where you're going to plant the seedlings with water. So I fill them up and I let them drain and then I plant the seedlings. Today I'm going to plant some red curry squash. That's really all there is to it. I like to do is I like to put the plants in, make a well around the plants, fill them full of water, let them drain, fill them full of water again, let them drain. Allows all the soil to get situated around the roots. Makes it really, really good. And like I say, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Until the next video, thank you very much for joining me. If you learned something, hit the like button, subscribe. It really helps me out. Have a great day.